Hello to my subscribers and Blurp users. Uh, this is the overview of the changes I made in uh, latest Blurp version, which is 2.3.0, and the previous one, which is 2.2.12. Uh, so mostly I was working on the GUI, on the aesthetics. Uh, I was looking for a font to replace uh, Arial I used in the previous versions. I did an extensive search and I found this wonderful font called Texanium, which is a uh, free domain, public domain. So I believe I can use it without restrictions as well on plugin and also I'm going to use it on the hardware unit faceplate. And big thanks to guy who developed it and put it into public domain. It's it's really great font. I, I like how it looks. Also, I worked on the alignment uh, to make all the labels and all the <coughs> all the values centered well, aligned well on all the scaling settings. I paid a lot of attention to that. Also. Uh, I put quite a lot of effort to make it look uh, the same on Mac without kind of uh, tricks I used before in coding, hard coding uh, aligns and margins like I did before. Now it's all kind of automatic and it should be better and it will allow me in the future to add more scaling settings without uh, big efforts, so to speak. Um, I moved uh, these GUI settings from the menu to this settings panel. Uh, also, I worked on color schemes. I reworked the whole engine. Now it's kind of more reliable, uh, easier to maintain, and I added these several schemes. This uh, dark blue one, I think, uh, fits nicely into FL. I made it especially for FL users, but also I think any DAW which has dark GUI, it will work nicely with this dark, dark blue scheme. Also, there is light blue one and plain grayscale one, I call it newspaper, and just shades of gray. Um, uh, another thing regarding skins. Um, Ah, yeah, I forgot to say about the font. You don't have to install this uh, Axanium font. You don't have to download and install it because it's pro embedded into Blur package. Just don't forget to copy this fonts, uh, fonts uh, directory from their archive. Because from here, Blurup will try to load the fonts when it starts. If they're not here, the fonts will be messed up. Um, Uh, another thing is um, uh, some settings I used, uh, I, I added uh, to improve uh, Unify users' experience. I believe uh, now the BlueRP user base kind of grew up because Unify gets BlueRP included into the package. and. I saw on the forum it's quite a lot of Unify users. So, uh, for according to the request of Unify developer, I added this setting. First, first of all, it's octave numbering. It's just uh, octave numbering convention. So you see here, if I press the key, it's A4 with the default setting, which corresponds how FL uh, numbers and names the notes. But if I change to this one, the same key is A A3, and with this setting, the same key is A2. So these are just just different note naming conventions between different synth manufacturers. Nothing else. Uh, also, I added this sustain uh, sustain message filter to MIDI CC filtering options. And by default, it's here, our pledge, it's the default setting. And w this way, uh, sustain pedal is linked to this our pledge setting. And if I keep holding the pedal, it works like this. I press a chord, it sustains. I press a new one, it replaces the previous chord. So you can just 
keep the pedal always held down, always on and play different chords. <coughs> if I um, if I change it to sustain setting, it will work just normal sustain pedal. So I press the keys, I press another one, it gets added to my chord. I press another one, it gets added to my chord. Yeah. Uh, also, I can uh, select pass through. It will just transmit the sustain message to the synth. It's like this pretty messy in this context. Yeah, and also I can just set to ignore and it will ignore this message. Now I'm holding the pedal, nothing happens. Uh, and of course you might want to um, adjust this thing, uh, setting depending on which pedal do you have. Is it normally open or normally closed? Uh, so that's it uh, regarding new features. I think I... Ah, yeah. I forgot one important thing. Um, there is this restart chain on switch setting, which is maybe not self-explanatory. I load the project to demonstrate it. But um, if I had restart and beat, then my uh, kind of blur up internal clock is hardwired to the song position. And you see if I... I have the chain, it consists of the same program, just to show you how it works. Even if I'm not playing, it, it keeps advancing the sequencer and it's hardwired to the host position. And if I switch the chain, uh, you see the next chain picks up the sequ sequence somewhere in the middle because it's still uh, hardwired to the host uh, play position. And if I check this setting, the, each time I switch the chain, it will kind of restart the sequence from the first block, from the first program slot, so to speak. So you see how it works. I think it should be handy for real-time performances when you don't want to calculate where on the global kind of beat counter you are. It's I just I came to the conclusion I have to add this based on my own experience because on the long performances I have this problem. I I, I don't want to count uh, the beats from the beginning and kind of estimate where am I now. It's just handy for me to, when I switch the chain to know that it will start from the beginning. So yeah, this is this should be handy for real time performances. I think. Uh, yeah, now, now I think I described pretty much everything. Um, another thing I want to add, if you, if you get a lot of free time, some of us do these days, and if you want to experiment with uh, new skins and color schemes, um, just the same way you can check uh, inside skins directory this default ini file, and kind of I changed uh, the labeling, the names of these labels and the colors themselves are now coded in, in a normal way. It's just plain RGB uh, recorded in a hex format. <coughs> I, I still support all the previous skins and they have this kind of weird coding uh, starting from dollar sign and the number itself it's hex BGR. Uh, inverted because I don't remember why I did this probably because Delphi which I used that days to develop blurb Delphi stored uh, hex numbers or just integers in this format uh, but I still support this older older skins we have uh, skins provided by studio in this folder they're still here and I believe they work uh, the same way I paid attention to that to support these older skins. So yeah, you can you can still use them. 
along with the default blue one but i really like this dark blue i think it, it looks nice in, in the file studio so yeah that's it thanks for watching and have fun with blue arp